Hey guys, well, we're out here at the Hardcore Drift Promotions Final Confrontation. So this is their championship night. If you guys have seen any of the videos from Roaring Knob, those were all qualifying uh, events and heats that led to tonight. So we're gonna be here filming. Uh, we're gonna have to delay the videos posting, but you guys will see this one right along with the rest, so that doesn't matter. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and walk around the pits like we do at every event that we at least are able to and give you guys just kind of a flavor of who's here. So there's gonna be at least, I think, 160, 170 plus vehicles here, probably even more. We'll see uh, how many we end up seeing. But we are up here in the inspection barn. We're just gonna start here, because everybody is, actually a lot of cars are still in line for the inspection. So we're just gonna kind of capture them while they're all nicely lined up, and then uh, just go from there. So in here we have the compacts, uh, minivans, mini trucks. They're getting inspected up in here. And then we've got the full-size cars over on the side. This is the retech area on this side of the building. I should have clarified. So we'll go ahead and see uh, who's over on the other side. So over here we've got the full-size cars lined up. So that would be. Hobby stock full size and their hardcore full size. So those qualifying heats, they're all lined up here, ready uh, in line for inspection. So some cars you've seen run here before, some you have not. I think there was no requirement of it had to be a, the same vehicle you qualified in. I believe you could run with a fresh car. You just had to earn your spot to actually run the event. So you got a little bit of everything. You got a lot of pre-rans, you got a lot of fresh. And then at one time I had heard they were going to have kickers, but I believe they eliminated that class just due to the low pre-registration. So I guess we'll find out if they do have some that show up. Maybe they'll run them, but I think those were eliminated. How you doing, man? So I think we'll uh, go ahead and just capture all the full-size vehicles that are in line and then we'll come back and catch the other ones. This car was the one that was out at Keystone last week. Could be mistaken, probably am, but I think so. It was an easy thousand bucks, though. Yeah. That's a lot of car to haul around in the That's both of us. cars lined up over here but let's go catch those uh, compacts before we uh, miss this line over here all right so now here we are we got the compacts and the minivans mini trucks line up we're gonna capture the guys that are sit still over here in line for tech so the show's supposed to be starting in about an hour so hopefully they can fly through these guys so we can get this show going but uh, these guys are lined up and ready and then I'm once we get past all these cars that are in line for tech, we will go out and explore, explore the pits. Glare, 
we'll see. There are a lot of cars here, guys, so I'm going to kind of try to keep on walking. As always, if you see your vehicle, make sure to give us a shout out down in the comments with the timestamp, tag your buddy, whatever you want to do. Try to feature everybody who showed up, get their car a little bit of PR and time on the spotlight. I recognize a few of these cars and I guess I failed to mention there are some youth here as well so they're gonna be in the, the line up here with the the rest of the compacts week and a half And here's the continuation of the full-size cars we got in the lineup here for tech. I think there's a kind of a mixture as well as full-size youth cars that are mixed in here. So I do apologize I failed to mention that earlier, but they're mixed in with the rest of these guys. Seems like there's anything from mild to wild. And again, out of respect out of a lot of these drivers, I'm not gonna get up close to their cars just to try to, you know, let their uh, knowledge not leak out into the interwebs. Move over, we got somebody coming through here. Ford Crown Wagon. We got some mini tr trucks and stuff over there. Let's just see if we can catch them on the way back. So that was the tech line. So now we're gonna go see who we can see hanging out here in the pits. Saw some of these guys in the background of the last little shot, but let's see if we can get you guys a little bit of a closer view. Seen a few of these guys run before. Taurus wagon. Oh, about the only thing these are good for. Dodge Neon, that one's clean.
guess some bunch of youth cars in over here. lot of cars man just keep on going it looks like there's a we're just now getting to the main part of the pits we're not even hardly in the pits so and these are some cars that you guys have seen out on the track before these are a number of pre-rans that have already been out uh, hopefully probably just trying to take them out for one last hurrah and see how things go There's kind of a couple cars packed in here, so see if I can get them. We got a, we got a van here, and it looks like a Ford Explorer sitting over here. Couple different cars here. One tucked up there. Somebody drove by and it's running uh, some of our favorite, the grape fuel additive, you know, the scent additive. It's our particular flavor of choice, so definitely sparked my uh, interest. Definitely wanted to make sure to find this guy out here in the pits. So saw that some of these photos circulating on Facebook here of an awesome paint job. And anytime somebody does that, definitely strikes our attention. And I think we have the final row of cars here. So. Gonna probably keep talking because they got some music playing in the background. YouTube's not a huge fan of that, so we're gonna try to drown it out a little bit. But looks like we got a lot, a whole lot of compacts and minivans over in this part of the infield. So I think a lot of the full size are still up in, in tech. I 
Audi Chevy wagon. The Cavalier. Truck run before. Obvious And they just keep on going. I'll get it on the way back, man. That's a good one. All right. I think I finally found the end of this row. But we'll catch the row on the way back. Yeah, he wasn't. Oh, I'm just saying, somehow he was here, the third car was here, and I was sitting here. And when I started backing up, he said he went like this because he was trying to back up. He said, by the time I looked up, you can see that. I guess this one's probably going to see the track at some point. <laughs> and another truck that we've seen run before, I believe. Cherokee. Never been a big fan of the Jeeps. I mean, obviously we ran one, but I've even seen other people run them, and honestly, the results weren't all that great. Seen this guy a few times. All right, so there you go, guys. There is a walk around through the pits and the inspection area, your prelude for the final confrontation here at the Fayette County Fairgrounds in Dunbar, Pennsylvania. Today is September 26th, and we are ready to film and watch all these vehicles get junked. And as they've been putting on shows for you guys all summer, I'm sure tonight will not disappoint. As always, we'll put individual links in the description below for each one of those heats. So if you saw a vehicle and you want to see how it did, definitely make sure to check out the links below. I will put it all in a nice playlist for you guys as well. And uh, as always, if you liked the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you've not already done so. We'd love to have all of your support to help us get these videos out to even more of the world. And as always, we hope that you guys have a great day.